Hi folks, <clears throat> thanks again for watching. Uh, last night's video, I should have pre-watched it through. Uh, I had to delete the video because uh, the battery in here, uh, I must have forgot to charge it, but yet it allowed me to load up and stuff, but it, it cut the video in half, so. Um, this last Sabbath, uh, we were discussing, there's two or three of us talking, and, and I was able to have someone, a friend of mine, Doug, get me this verse that I've been looking for because it's been paraphrased several times and I it's very hard to find even Google a paraphrased verse sometimes it doesn't always want to show up but this has kind of helped me to um, solidify is that the right word for you know when you're dealing with the Trinity doctrine and stuff and so this here uh, this this couple verses here I'm going to share with you an example but uh when Yeshua, the Lord Jesus, is speaking, and then when the Father is speaking through him. Okay, listen to this now. I'm just going to read mine. Uh, Jesus makes this clear that we can know when it is Jesus speaking or when his Father is speaking through him. This is John 7, verse 17 in the King James Version. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. See, for a long time, let me, let me uh, read that differently with some of the, the, the different word meanings. If any man will do his Yahweh's will, he shall know the doctrine or teaching, whether it be from Yahweh or was it of Jesus himself speaking. See, there's times that I used to use a number of verses to support the Trinity doctrine until I started understanding the Deuteronomy 18 principle. Deuteronomy 18 principle, verse 17 through 19. And Yahweh said to me, Moses, they've been good in what they're, they're speaking, they've spoken. This is when the people... Uh, was listening to the Yahweh from the mountaintop and fire and brimstone and talking to them and they were all scared, got scared the pants off of them. Verse 18, I'll raise up a prophet from them, from among their brothers like you, and I will put my words in his mouth and he'll speak to them everything that I'll command him. And it will be the man who won't listen to my words, that's the key, my words, that he'll speak in my name, I shall require it from him. And see, that's, a, that's an incredible thing. See, that's, that's the whole thing. We, we've gotten so to the point where the entire Bible, no matter which translation you have, is God's word, even though there's so many inconsistency of comparisons from and you have to go to your concordance to find out what the original words mean. See, Yahweh's words is the words that he speaks, either through a prophet, thus says the Lord, or through his son. Moses had to say, thus says the Lord God, for it to be God's word. But Jesus speaks his own words, and at times, being the Father dwells in him. See, the Father's dwelling in him at his baptism. The Father spoke through Yeshua, the Lord Jesus, the prophet's mouth, his very own words to us. Let me give you an example. This might help you to understand. It took me a while here. But uh, example, remember the wine, the water to wine? John 2, verses 3 and 4. When the wine ran out, Jesus' mother said, they have no more wine. Woman, what does this concern us? Why does this concern us? Jesus replied, my hour has not yet come. That's a very clear distinction that Jesus, God's son, is speaking his words to her and not the Father speaking to him. Now let's look at another one here. This is, a, I think, a very good example. John 8, verses 54 through 58. You'll have to note the context when you look this up. Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, 
my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me. He of whom you say, he is our God. He's talking to the Pharisees. Though you do not know him, but I know him. If I would say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. See, to me that always sounded funny. Do not know him. If I say I do know him, then I'd be a liar like you. Because they don't know him. Anyway. <laughs> but I do know him, and I keep his words. See, he's very clearly talking to them. The Father's not speaking through him. He's talking to them. Verse 56, your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. That's what Jesus said. Then the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old. Have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. To me, it's clear that the last verse that the Father is speaking through the Son, even though the words are coming out with Jesus, you can see the conversation here as he's discussing it. If I were to say, you are not yet 50 years old, have you seen Abraham? See? And so, uh, there's many places in the New Testament, in the Gospels, where Jesus says things that I thought was odd. But yet, because I was a Trinitarian and taught to be a Trinitarian, then I accepted that. Because it made sense that he was back in that era in time. Say, versus Deuteronomy 18 principle is a father will speak through my prophet my words and we have to distinguish if we're following his will we will be able to distinguish what is the father's words through the prophet and what is the prophet Jesus Yeshua words himself does that make sense now that to me has really helped me out and uh, sometimes I share these videos because I try to to see if I can explain it to somebody else and if it makes sense then maybe I, I understand it enough and I'm still you know I'm still learning stuff but uh, there are certain principles in studying scripture that I see that helps unite the whole entire Bible and the purpose of the different authors and the reason they're in there see and that as I've shared you know in 2 Timothy 3.16 when Paul says uh, all scripture, the word is, is not in there. All scripture breathed of Yahweh is profitable for doctrine, reproof, and correction. See, all scripture breathed of him. And so I am really looking through the Old Testament and the New Testament when, when Moses says, thus says the Lord, and as I shared in another video, that Moses, that Yahweh told Aaron that I speak face to face and not in parables and not in dreams and not in visions to Moses. I, I, I just talked to him. See, so Jesus and Moses is on the same level because Moses spoke face to face. Yeshua, the Lord Jesus, is indwelled by the Father. And that's incredible. That, that is a standard of authority that gives his words authority over everyone else's. Amen. Father, thank you that you are continuously reve revealing yourself and revealing things to us. And Father, I pray that uh, as the holidays come along that we will spend more time with you and studying and worshiping your words and your teachings and your commandments and your Torah, the prophets. And I thank you in Yeshua's name. Amen.